This guy, the 24-year-old Spaniard, who out of the car is just, has such a lovely demeanor. He's such a pleasant young man behind the wheel. He is an animal. It's time for the motor racing world to say hello, Palo. Alex Palo wins his maiden Indy car race. Flag, baby. At Barber Motor Sports Park. What a day. What a day. Pushed he it. told us a week ago, just get me to St. Pete. I want to get out of here now after that opening lap crash at Barber. Well, he has come back. He has responded emphatically. Colton Herter will win his very first street course race. Colton Herter at the Firestone Grand Prix of St. Pete. Sees that checkered flag for us. won, baby. Good job. A fellow Kiwi and to come home in a 1-2. He's got traffic is getting closer, but I don't think it's going to cause an issue. Connor Daly. He'll hang on there. Check it, flag at the ready. Scott Dixon wins back-to-back -back years and wins at Texas Motor Speedway for a fifth time. Well done, Scott. Great job. Time since a Mexican driver drove to victory lane in IndyCar Series competition. Off the top of my head, I want to say it was Adrian Fernandez a long time ago. But Pato Award, Mr. Energy, Mr. Fast Hands. Go, baby. Oh, boy, Award. Oh, Pato Award yeah. is an IndyCar winner. Nice job at the hometown race, baby. He's going to be the third first-time winner from five races. That hasn't happened since 2013 in the NTT IndyCar Series. Robert Dornbos, who's a commentator in the Netherlands, he was the last Dutchman to win. That was way back in 2007. Look at the family pride from Ed Carpenter Racing and the VKs. Renus VK down, wins down here, the GMR Grand Prix in nice Indianapolis. Up. Wheel eight. Turn two. Onto the back stretch for the final time. Can Castro Neves weave his way around? Will the move that Ryan Hunter Ray put on him many years ago? He sticks behind RHR. Now here, Pelo. Pelo gets closer. There's a four time win on the line for Elio Castro Neves. Look at the crowd. They know history's on the line. Welcome to the four time club, Elio Castro Neves. That is awesome. He did almost 100 Formula One Grand Prix. The last time he won was in GP2, yeah, one of the feeder one series point to point Formula One at the here. Nürburgring Coming in 2013. While these two youngsters scrap over second, it's going to be the oh. sneaky Swede who drives his way to victory lane. BK. One more turn for Marcus Ericsson. Ericsson in Detroit. Flag. Good job, buddy. Wins for the first time in his IndyCar career. Brilliant job from Newgarden. He didn't get the car sideways. He rolled the power on. It might be just enough to hold on to second. Palo will get one more chance here as they come through 11. There's a short straightaway here. No, not going to happen. Newgarden hangs on. Absolutely terrific driving under difficult circumstances right, for the Checker driver of the out. two. That's for Checker the minor placings. Out. This is for the win. Nice job. Hell of a drive. Is a two -time one, baby. Winner and a championship leader. And the race is on for the final step of the podium. Newgarden and Palo fill those steps. But today at the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, it's a Chevy that wins tracking Joseph Newgarden throughout the day, waiting for a mistake. It turns out it was a mechanical. That was the opportunity. Final corner for Alex Pillow, hey, looking man. for win number two, and to take over the championship lead by a big margin. Alex Pillow has won at Road America for Chip Ganassi Racing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's Roger Penske's only American driver in this team. And he is going to win on Independence Day, on Penske's 50th anniversary. Yeah, we got one. Newgarden finally does it. That's what's going. And it's Penske's yeah. first win of 2021. Uh, great job, boys. Very nice. Two more corners to go. We've had a spin and win. Danny Sullivan in the 1985 Indianapolis 500. A launch and win. Marcus Erickson win eight years without a victory. He's now won two times in IndyCar. Nice job, Marcus, Marcus Erickson two. takes the inaugural Music City Grand Prix. Cruise through to turn 13. One more corner to go. It has been a long time, too long. It was here last year in the Harvest Grand Prix where Will Power won. Power, there's nobody better on this track in an IndyCar. Will Power wins. Hey man, way to go. Newgarden is in control and what a race in the Sonsio Chevrolet. He worked for it. He made some key moves when he had to. 
and the two-time winner here at Worldwide Technology Raceway is now a three-time winner. Good work there. Good job, fellas. Great. Good calm. Alex Pillow wins in Portland and now he takes the championship lead. Congratulations, man. Awesome. Great job, 10 cars. It's 25 years ago that Alex Zanardi put the move on his dad but then his dad came back to win two times. Well, right now here at WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca, this is Herder's house, and Colton yeah, Herder back, is now a two-time winner. It's a street circuit, a road course, a super speedway or a small oval. It's fantastic, and there's more to come in 2022 where you can fully expect the driver of the Gainbridge Honda, Colton Herder, to be vying for a championship. This will be his sixth career win, and he gets to do it in Southern California, where he grew up. Out of the hairpin for the final time, Colton Herter will have the last say of 2021. Herter wins Get again on. for the first time in Long Beach. And Alex Pelot is an NTT IndyCar champion.